how do you spend your weekends in this video i'm going to tell you about how i spend my weekend why um i firmly believe that how you spend your weekend um you know refreshes you or re-energizes you for the week to come it also helps you to rest and recuperate from the week gone by now there are several schools of thought on what you should do over the weekend to rest so some people like to sleep and vegetate and simply just uh, rest it out some people like to fill up their weekend with a lot of activities uh, because it helps to re-energize them um, i sort of belong to the second school of thought but let me just tell you about the six things that I like to do. These are my must do's. Number one is a date with the husband. Um, this is where, you know, both of us uh, set aside time intentionally to spend with each other. It's not one of those, uh, let's just grab meal after work or um, let's just, you know, go just just do something. Uh, catch a movie or something this is actually a date a date where uh, we actually decide what is it that we're going to do I like to dress up for it um, you know so it could be a restaurant or a bar that we want to try it's something new or perhaps even an old place that both of us love to go to but it is time set aside to just spend with each other no friends uh, no puppies in our case maybe children in yours uh, just the two of us talking about work life um, you know, dreams, visions, what's happening, where we are headed, that, you know. Um, so it could be a Friday night, it could be a Saturday night, it could be a long drive uh, on a Sunday, it could be something else, you know. It, But it is just time that we've set aside as a date, um, you know, for the two of us. Two, a spa salon visit. Uh, first of all, though, I like to be well put together. So for me, you know, this is very important to sort of, um, you know, set myself up for the week to come. But it's also very, very de-stressing. I find going a, a spa or a salon visit also very, very de-stressing. So it's my must do uh, over a weekend. It's also a form of self-care, right? I firmly believe in this. Uh, so for me, this is like a must do. Three, one extra long workout on any one day of the weekend. I think this is more because of FOMO, because my husband likes to do this one extra long workout uh, on the weekend. I feel okay, even I have to do this. but. Again, I think it's a form of self-care and though I crib a lot, I actually land up enjoying it because <clears throat> it's a great way to push your boundaries on that one day when you actually do have more time, right? So you actually push your boundaries and have fun while doing it and you come back feeling tired but energized. I don't know whether you get that or not, but it really is uh, tired but energized. So one extra long workout over the weekend is a must. Um, purely because of FOMO, like I said, but I kind of enjoy it. <laughs> Friends, you know, a group of people that you feel not very judged by, a group of uh, people that you feel safe around, lots of laughter, perhaps a few games, um, you know, uh, talks on world politics, but something that really helps you to let your hair down. People that really help you to let your hair down. I think one evening or a day or a picnic whatever it is that you want to do but i think that one uh, time spending with people it could be your family you know a long extended lunch but it has to be people that you feel safe around and it has to be people that you really enjoy being with you know very like-minded that i think is again a very very important part of my weekend because it's important for me to spend that time just laughing just sharing uh, just maybe perhaps doing an activity like a board game um, so time spent with people that you feel safe around, whether friends or family, a certain group, that again is very, very important for me. Next, um, the house. You know, the house always demands constant repair work or maintenance work. So, you know, you don't want to let that pile on. So a little bit of time set aside to sort of organize the kitchen or between the two of us, you know, figure out, figuring out if there's some plumbing work required or bulb fuse ho gaya, you know, something like that. And now this is just so simple with brands like you know with urban company etc you just call someone and get the whole thing done uh, but constant maintenance and constant you know organizing and stocking the house particularly over the weekend ensures that things are not left to really rot 
um so again a little bit of time spent on the house is very very important for me uh, stocking up on the kitchen is um, a bit of a lost cause as far as we are concerned because we try and do it as much as possible on the weekend but i think over the week also that continues to happen there are always things that require replenishment but as much as possible as you can to stock up the house and do a little bit of repair and maintenance really helps last but not the least sleep yes catch up on some sleep mostly sunday afternoons is when both of us crash out uh, an extended 2 to 3 hours of afternoon sleep really helps me to catch up on any lost sleep that i might have had over the week it also really helps me to rest and feel recharged those 2 to 3 hours on a sunday afternoon are magical i think so you know uh, catching up on lost sleep is also important sometimes you could just sleep in uh, you know in the morning on a sunday morning you just sleep in and wake up late as well but i do sleep extra over the weekends as well a uh, little bit and i don't spend the entire weekend sleeping i really don't believe in that school of thought but yes catching up on lost sleep is also important and i like to do that over the weekend as well tell me your weekend plans for me you know a weekend is that break which helps me to sort of transition from one week to another and it's very important for me to do interesting new fun uh things that make me laugh that make me you know um that develop my brain cells a little uh that help me to sort of um, you know feel energized and feel happy very very important for me to do this over the weekend and that's when i feel that okay you know this week that has gone by i can let it go learn from it and go into the next week feeling fresh and energized so that's my weekend what does your weekend look like let me know in the comments this is the bigger thing till next time Bye bye